This is a reflection session. For these sessions, I recommend you are somewhere alone or in a space where you can be relatively undisturbed for five minutes. As we begin reflection on this topic, I recommend you think about these things. Why did you choose this topic? Observe how your belly, chest, and head each feel when you reflect on this topic. Be aware of the emotions that you associate with those physical feelings. Think about any positive or negative impact stories you are telling yourself about this topic. Recognize that many others feel the same way or very similar to the way you feel. And finally, when possible, apply increased mindfulness and awareness in your day-to-day -day life. Let's get started. Twelve Intentions of Gratitude Intentions for Living a Full Day of Gratitude Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Make sure you're breathing all the way in and all the way out. Notice how often your breathing just takes care of itself. Just breath, moving itself through you, keeping you alive. Commit to not taking this miracle for granted. See if you can take an inventory of the things for which you are grateful. Let them percolate through your mind and calm your body. Thinking of three things that you are grateful for which matter to you. Maybe one thing that you are grateful for yourself. And another thing that you are grateful for another. And lastly, maybe something that you are grateful for that occurs in nature or is a natural phenomenon of the world. See if you can engage in an act of kindness today. Notice if you are pulled toward kindness for a stranger more than someone close to you, or vice versa. Either way, offer your kindness with no strings attached. No need for recognition. Truly just notice the completeness and fullness of letting go and not needing anything back. Bring to mind someone for whom you are grateful for. Someone who has influenced you positively. Perhaps they are a protector or benefactor, loved one, mentor, someone for whom you are grateful. And savor this image of this person or the memory and try to allow the image of this person to be held by all of the cells in your body. Not just your mind, but throughout your entire body, engaging all the senses, savoring this feeling of gratitude for this person. Notice what happens in your emotions and in your body when you do this. And at any point during your day, see if you can reflect upon one important thing that you've learned today or yesterday. One important thing that you have learned. Feeling gratitude for having learned this new thing. Today, can you let someone know? You are thinking of them by sending a card or just calling someone, writing a note, or sending a text, an email, letting someone know that you are thinking of them, expecting nothing in return, just sharing your appreciation and acknowledgement of this person. At some point, see if you can sit quietly and allow a sense of peace to enter your heart, allowing the sense of peace to flow directly into your heart through your breath. Perhaps you'll light a candle later today and create a grateful intention. 
settle into the sense of peace you may be feeling now. Allow the sense of peace to enter your heart, residing in this space of gratefulness for just a few precious moments and forming the intention to show up absolutely wholeheartedly to everything you do today. Notice at the end of the day if anything changed because of this intention to show up absolutely wholeheartedly. And seeing if you can make the decision to see your most challenging moments today as opportunities. What might be making itself known or available to you in hard times? How can you cultivate even small sentiments of gratefulness for the gifts that come with a struggle? Seeing your most challenging moments today as opportunities. And see if you can turn all of the waiting moments of the day into moments of heightened awareness. If you are waiting in line or waiting for a meeting to start, waiting to get somewhere, see if you can maybe turn these moments into moments of heightened awareness. Try to be fully present in these times to what might be blessings in disguise, the blessings and protections around you. Notice at the time in between things is a huge gift that you can enjoy. And if you share a meal with other people today, ask each person to share something for which they are grateful. Maybe even two or three things for which they are grateful. If you are eating alone, bring to mind something for which you are grateful and dedicate your meal to that gratefulness. These are some sample intentions to cultivate and savor. Take a moment to savor these feelings of gratitude each and every day. Thank you and have a great day.